two, one, go. As we get started in autonomous mode, teams leave the tarmac. We've got a couple of cargo pods going into the lower hub. As now teams are waiting for autonomous mode to end, let's get ready to rumble. As the Red Alliance seems to be collecting cargo pods to make a move, but the Blue Alliance with one basket in the high hub. The Red Alliance makes two baskets in the lower hub. We've got things going on as the White Water Space Dragons once again score points for the Red Alliance. <coughs> Team Blue with two baskets in the high hub. Oh, tough break for the White Water Space Dragons as they collected cargo pods but could not connect. We've got teams trying to collect cargo pods all over the tarmac and all over the playing surface. It looks like the Robo Lions are getting ready to make an attempt to deploy some of their cargo. Meanwhile, the Mill Creek Steel Talons are playing a little defense on the, on the floor. And that one goes in as they've deposited some cargo, and that's the Robo Lions. Both team, both alliances continue to move around and collect cargo pods from all across the floor. What's going to happen next? Anybody's guess. Let's see what happens. And once again, the Robo Lions with the basket as we're down to the final 30 seconds. What's going to happen? Let's see. We've got the Robo Lions climbing on the mid hangar bar. And we've got the White Water Space Dragons on the mid rung. Could it possibly be? Can they do it? As time expires. The North Forsyth Raiders on the middle rung. And here we go, cruising along at amazing 22,000 feet. The Blue Alliance wins with a score of 38-22 with 20 total cargo points and 12 hangar points. 